Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this May the 1st, 2021. And uh, as I said, this is first Saturday, which uh, normally would mean Dave Gabbert and Gene Smith. Well, Dave is on the road. He's at, up at Dale Holler Lake on his way to see his... Uh, son and grandkids uh, up in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, so we're going to try to stay with Dave every once in a while when we can get him on the road. But we know that, uh, that Gene Smith is with us. And, uh, Gene, uh, glad to have you. Hope everything's going all right with you. And uh, you always like to talk about kids, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, here's a chance. I mean, uh, our good friends at Major League Fishing have been uh, – heavily involved in not only the college side of the uh, tournament fishing, but I think something really cool is the high school side of this with the Major League Fishing. And so we're really happy to have him on with us outdoors with Larry Ray. He's at Smith. Are you at Smith Lake? Where are you right now? Well, I'm at Smith Mountain. I he am. is at, I am. Smith, I'm at Smith Mountain. Mountain up in Virginia. Yes, Kevin Hunt. That's our, the U.S. Army high school fishing guy. Just came in. The U.S. Army just joined the team. Kevin is yes, the senior director of tournament operations for college and high school fishing circuits for Major yes, League sir. Fishing. And, Kevin, uh, always good to have you. Let's talk about the growth of this thing because you've had – Six events, uh, college, six events, high school, and yes, uh, h- here you're rolling in the Virginia up there today. Talk about the growth because I know you've been with this. Uh, you you've been you've been with these guys for a while. So talk about the. I have. I'm I'm going on 17 years, Larry, and it's wow. been a blessing. And I've watched it grow from. I did BFLs, and I did walleye, and then I started the college program, and now I've been helping with the high school. or been over the high school last two years. And I tell you, Larry, it's just amazing to watch this uh, program continue to grow. We got, got lots of growth still. I got lots of uh, things to work on, but it's exciting to see these young kids be involved. Matter of fact, uh, Larry, I was at Gunnersville last weekend, and a young man from Chicago, Illinois, um, Carter Pajeski, uh, I met him years ago at the Cup. Yeah. And here he is now, 12 years old, fishing our uh, our high school event just really cool to see stuff oh, like that young, young men from from all over the place uh just coming to these events wanting to fish uh from chicago to gunnersville right and, yes uh, sir yes sir and, uh, is that not something i tell you i guess the guys that actually won that event gary uh, larry were from um from indiana from uh, from around the evansville uh area of indiana so it just goes to prove my point to that larry is these these guys are traveling they love to go to these great lakes great fisheries Bucket list lakes, you know. Yeah, and and you know, uh, uh, we've we've been having uh, these ki- these traveling baseball teams, we traveling mm-hmm. basketball teams, and yes, now, sir. folks, we got traveling fishing teams. And that's exactly I, I, right. And I can't think of a better way to uh, spend the time when you mention this. And 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 I know, Kevin. Uh, I, I know you said you've been you started in the fall of two thousand four. Uh, the, mm-hmm. As a tournament director in 2006, they actually became the walleye tour waymaster. I remember those days yes. and everything. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then to think uh, you took over the, the the college program and let's see, launched in January 2009, and now the uh-huh. high school program just two years ago. So let's yes, talk sir. about that. Since 2019, with this high school program, these are uh, these are what grades seven through twelve, right? So, uh, they are, yes, sir. And uh, I tell you, if you're in high school and you're interested in getting involved in the high school program, uh, we want to encourage you to go to our website, MajorLeagueFishing.com, and, and check out that schedule. You know, you mentioned uh, it's, it's kind of a travel uh, deal, but honestly, there's there's going to be an event near you. Uh, yes. You know, if you're a listener out there wondering, hey, where can I fish, just check that check that website out, check that uh, schedule, and I promise you, we got a tournament near near uh, some of you guys listening today. So we'd love to to have you come fish with us. And you know, we, we don't do a, a lot of scholarships, Larry, when it comes to our our local events. Mm-hmm. We actually qualify those guys through that event, the the, the opens, what we call the opens. The opens, for yeah. The, yeah. We qualify them for the high school world finals and the national championship, and that is where the big money comes in. We're going to give away over three million dollars worth of scholarships at those events wow. this year alone. 
Wow, did you hear that, Gene? Three million dollars. Yes, sir. Sco- Woo. Scholarships through uh, through fishing. And the amazing thing about this thing, uh, folks, is that uh, we're coming up to the World Finals. Uh, and and boy, I mean, uh, Lake Hartwell. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, pretty impressive for kids uh, seventh through twelfth twelfth uh, grade to have a chance to. Yes, sir. You, you're not just picking out little ponds and uh, buy places. Uh, they're fishing some big places, like you said. Yes, sir. And you know that that's going to be a, a hard time. It's going to be close to the middle of the summer. Uh, some of those fish are going to be deep. Some of them are going to be top water. It's going to be there's going to be a variety of fishing opportunities for y- those young guys. And and you know we're we're going to have lots of boats at that being. <laughs> it's going to be close close to uh, you know upper three fifty uh, or so boats at that event. But again, they're all competing for that. The big title, the bragging rights of the national champion, uh, which is televised, and, and it'll be on our major league fishing, um, you know, television show, uh, you know, you know, rotation, and then the high school world finals. On top of that, is, is the three million dollars of scholarship. So it, it's big time, and that's that's what we're here at Smith Mountain for today. We're going to crown a champion and send some guys to that to that event. And you only got Larry. You only got just a few more to uh, qualify. We have. Um, uh, so we got one at Potomac on June the fifth. Okay. And we got June June twelfth of Lake of the Pines. Those are the only two local events that we have, or uh, open events that we have. Now we do have the HighSchoolFishing.org. You can go to and maybe find a local event. But yeah, it's it's going to be a big deal, uh, a great deal. I mean, you know, you hear a Hartwell, you think a big big lake, big big bass. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, just a great great area. Well, I know, uh, Kevin, uh, you got some. The Tennessee tides here. Uh, yes, I know sir. you. I know you're a Mississippi native, but uh, we won't hold that right. against you. But uh, you went to Freed Hardeman University, and well, I mean, you yes. you you've seen this at the ground level. I mean, like you said, yes, sir. seventeen years ago, did you? It, yes, sir. Th- does this blow your mind, Kevin? Where what's happened uh, with this since you uh, came on board that that long time ago? Yes, sir, and you know our 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 job back then was just to to reach out to the, the old school fishermen and try our best to reach all the uh, you know guys we could. And now there's so much new blood; uh, it, it's absolutely amazing. And a lot of these young anglers, yeah. as you can see, Larry, are really taking uh, a, a, a kind of a, the, the threshold on on these big tournaments now. You look the, at them. the Kevin Van Dam, <laughs> Skeet Reese's, and all those guys. Uh, they're being challenged by these young anglers. Yes, they they're, are. They're sharp, sharp anglers, good anglers. And I, and, we've uh, had it's most. Good to see, though, I love that. We've been, we've had most of them on this show, and I, and, and to age myself, I can remember when Kevin Dam, Van Dam came out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, and anybody, nobody knew him. And all of a sudden, right, right. bingo! And now the opportunity uh, uh, to get back to the kid from Chicago. Now that yeah, that that uh, that, that kind of blows my mind. That that, but the interest is there. I mean, this uh, yes, is the opportunity for kids who uh, someday, who knows? I mean, you know, they may right. they may maybe one of the heavy hitters events or, or whatever right. it might be. So what about the U.S. Yes, Army joining this? That had to be a big plus. I saw a quote from our our, our good friend Jim Wilburn uh, talking yeah. about the Army joining this. Golly, I mean, was that? Uh, yes, sir. We're excited about them. Uh, Sergeant Benedict's been at every one of our events. Uh, we had uh, the marketing director, Miss Kelly, at our Gunnersville uh-huh. event. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Sergeant uh, Sergeant Major uh, Bryant was at our Gunnersville event as well. So they're heavily involved, Larry and. Uh, you know, they're our title sponsor. And, you know, um, we're just excited to have them on board. They're they're excited to be part of this. And, and it's it's good for both of us. It really is. Uh, we hope to be a, a benefit to them on, on contact and leads and well, sure. making connections and showing showing these young kids how awesome it is to be part of uh, our great nation and, and part of a, the our Army, military. But also showing, showing that they can still – be part of that and enjoy the outdoors as well. And I think that's their kind of their forte right now. They're, they're uh, go, uh, I believe it's a uh, go army outdoors. Or yes, outdoors, that's right. Army outdoors. Yeah. And that's what they're promoting right now. They're trying to promote how awesome it is and uh, to be part of the army and enjoy the outdoors. And I, I think that's a great fit. Well, when they say this is a uh, soldiers from the army mission support battalion at Fort mm-hmm. Knox, 
I mean, uh, yes, sir. that's, that's uh, right. you tie in Fort Knox with Major League Fishing, and I, I think you're uh, you're uh, you're going to strike gold. That's just a pun. I didn't mean to, to come out like that, but it did. <laughs> uh, so tell them how to, again how to get information, Kevin. So go to MajorLeagueFishing.com. Just click on the uh, high school fishing uh, uh, tab there, and that'll show you everything you need to know when it comes to our uh, Major League Fishing Opens. And, again, the uh, national championship, you mentioned it earlier, but we're on Hartwell June th- uh, 3rd through July the, uh, June 30th through uh, July the 3rd. I know that's the 4th of July weekend, but, hey, we'll have lots of high school coverage. So yes, uh, yeah. check it out on our website, and uh, and we'll even be live. We'll be all three days. We'll be live there as well. Isn't so. that something? Live. That's amazing. All right, Kevin Hunt, thank you, buddy, for being with us. Tell everybody up in the – Gilbertsville, Kentucky, hello for us, okay, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Thank buddy. you, Larry. Thank you. Guys, you. Thank you. Be safe you know, today. Have a good day. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Kevin Hunt from the U.S. Uh, from the Major League Fishing Senior Director of Tournament Operations. You know, so you didn't know you it, uh, it, it, Gene, that, that we're all too late. Seventh grade, we could have been fishing, you know. And that's and, something. Uh, and having and a, that could lead into big money too, just like any other sport, like basketball and baseball and football. That's exactly right. Dude. We we didn't have those kind of things going around during those times. But no, anyway. we didn't. <laughs> but we had it good though. We played ball. We just uh, we walked in the woods. Oh yeah. We walked in the woods. We found ticks and everything else out there, just like what we got <laughs> right now, I think. But anyway, all right, let's take a break. Going to come right back, and uh, we might see if we can get back Dave Gabbard on the phone. We're going to talk a little turkey. Yes, we're about uh, a couple of weeks out from the end of the turkey season in Tennessee, so you better talk about the Daniel Stanfield of uh, TWRA Region 1. So let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray, Shelby McCall, our show producer, Gene Smith, on the line with me, and we'll be right back. 